So what is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to be episode 207 within my series but without further ado guys let's just jump straight into the video. For the first spot within the video is going to be realistic pine trees coming at 2.2 megabytes of a download. This is going to be a port from the nexusmods.com. Improves the pine tree meshes and adds real 3D branches to them. The result is more more natural looking the trees do have the polygons now so the fps is likely to decrease on your system might not look like the screenshot that is in the description but this is what it looks like on the screen now because obviously the images from the gallery on the Bethesda.net website are going to be from vanilla and they will obviously scale with other different mods that you do have in conjunction for me this is very nice indeed I felt it was a very nice treat that they are kind of fleshed out twigs if not branches from the trees now for me it works great and in addition for 2.2 megabytes of a download I will be keeping it for the second spot within the video, if you're looking for a little bit of a cheat way to carry around some of the heavy armors that you do wear within the vanilla base game, this is going to be a great mod for you. This one is going to be Daedric Armor has zero weight, coming in only 1.9 kilobytes of a download. Not too much to say about this particular mod, but the description, if not the title, should give it all away. For the third spot within the video is going to be Hold Riders, only coming in at 67.9 kilobytes of a download. As many of you know, Oblivion was a great role-playing game, and it had many great role-playing aspects that improved from Morrowind. NPCs had schedules, ate, slept, and traveled. They now have the Imperial Legion patrolling the roads on horseback. I thought it was great to see this within the particular old game, such as Oblivion, and now has come all the way over into Skyrim. Nice to see that some of the NPCs do have other horses too. Horse and carriage at certain different holds, if not locations, to take you to different locations was a little bit underwhelming. And for this one, it is great to see that some of the hold members are out and patrolling. For the penelman spot within the video is going to be craftable clothing, coming in at 10.3 kilobytes of a download. This mod is a fairly simple mod to be added to the game. It adds many of the clothing items in game as craftable items at the tanning rack. You can make things such as farm clothes of all different types, fine clothes from all different types, yarn clothes from again all different types, shoes mostly can get all of them too, amulets, wedding clothes, robes, travel, tavern, wenches outfits, work clothes of all different types, common clothes, hats, magic hoods, arm guards, college robes, college boots, and merchant clothing. So if you want to kit your clothing collection out, if not hang some stuff up on those particular mannequins for your player home, then this is going to be an absolute swish mod for you to grab. And for the fifth and final spot within the video is going to be running Dovahkiin loading screen. Now we have covered one of these particular loading screens prior episode from this one. And there is quite a few of these out on the Bethesda.net website. So if this one isn't your particular taste, I'd encourage you to head over to the site and have a little look because there's a bunch of these ones to choose from. This one is coming at 59.9 kilobytes of a download. And again, this is going to be a mod from a complete compilation all the way from the nexusmods.com as one compressed mod. For this one it does split up into certain things, hopefully we could see all of these as a big bulk collection, maybe randomly go through all of them, that would be absolutely great. For this one it's a small download size and for me it works straight off the bat as you can tell on screen now, it's just a loop of the small video footage you're seeing too, but overall really did enjoy it and they are quite funny. So guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. This has been episode 207 within my series. If you did enjoy, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too, make sure to click the subscribe button. Also consider clicking that little bell to get post notifications for every single time I upload a video to the channel. But until the next one guys, get a kefir and get a kebab.